Good day everyone. Welcome once again to our uh, lecture for today. So last time I asked you to practice this number. Have you tried? What's your answer for this one? Okay, so we're given x squared y or x squared times y plus y squared equal to 4. And we are asked to find the derivative of y with respect to x. So what is your answer for this one class? Have you tried it? Okay, so the uh, function here is not ex uh, explicitly expressed in terms of a certain variable. So to solve for the derivative of y with respect to x, we have to <clears throat> do it by implicit differentiation. All right, so here's our solution. So what is the rule here in our implicit differentiation? So we need to uh, take the derivative of each term on both sides. All right, so this is our first term. On the left side, we have here the first term, the product of x squared and y. Our second term is y squared. And uh, on the other side, uh, we have a constant. Okay, so for the first term, what shall we use here? So we are going to use the um, product rule in differentiation we have. If you're given uh, u and v and you are uh, derivative of the product. Okay, so we have here Okay, so the product says that uh, derivative of u times v is equal to u times derivative of v with respect to x and plus v times the derivative of u. with respect to x. Okay, so this is the formula. So, it means class if you are given the product u and v, so you just multiply u times the derivative of v no, with respect to whatever is the variable given here. This is x, so with respect to x. Then plus v times the derivative of u with respect to x. In other words, plus um, the product rule says that the first factor multiplied by the derivative of the second factor okay for the first term of our result then plus the second factor multiplied by the uh, derivative of the first factor okay so here we have this is our first factor our first factor is x squared so you just write down x squared okay that is our uh, first factor of the first term okay then multiplied by so take the derivative of the second uh, factor this is uh, this is our u this is our v okay and then you follow this formula here so derivative of our v, our v, this is a, uh, if you compare this uh, with our formula, this is our u, okay, and this one y here is our v, right, so following this formula here, so derivative of the second factor which is y with respect to x. 
okay and then plus the second factor which is y okay which is b so you have to write that first so y times the derivative of u or u is x squared so derivative of x squared so applying the power rule so that will become 2 times x to the power 2 minus 1 is 1 then times the base where the base is x so the derivative of x with respect to x okay and then the right side so the derivative of the right side which is a constant that is equal to self okay oh sorry we still have the second term uh, sorry class uh, I missed the second term so before this okay, so we still have the second term okay so plus so derivative of the second term so we can apply the power rule so 2 times y then times the base the base is y so the derivative of y with respect to x and then our right side is equal to 0 derivative of constant is equal to 0 okay so we have here dx So dx over dx or dx divided by dx so this one is equal to 1 okay so therefore we have x squared times the derivative of y with respect to x then plus so y times 2x so that is the same as 2 times xy okay then plus we have 2 times y multiplied by dy over dx and this is equal to 0. Okay, our right side is equal to 0. So take note, class, that we are asked to solve for the dy over dx. Okay, so now on our first term here, so we have here on our first term we have dy over dx. Right? On the second term, so we don't have dy over dx there. But on our third term, we have also dy over dx here. So since dy over dx is the uh, unknown that we are, need to find, then we have to uh, do something, no? To combine similar terms. So similar terms here, class, means terms that contains uh, uh, same uh, factors like dy over dx. So on the first term, we have dy over dx. Third term, we have dy over dx. So combining the two, then we have uh, another one here, uh, which is uh, not the same. So what we're going to do for that, we have to uh, take this to the other side, no? or transpose it to the other side. So transposing this to the other side. Okay, so we transpose that to other side, so that becomes, so this becomes negative, right? Negative 2xy, okay? And then on the left side, you combine similar terms, then factor out common. So what is the common? So the common is dy over dx, right? So this is common on both sides. So factoring out common, which is dy over dx, then multiplied. 
So what is left? Okay, so first term divide by dy over dx, which is the common. So what is left is only x squared, right? Then plus, so this one here, plus. So plus the third term, there is also dy over dx. So 2y times dy over dx, divide by dy over dx. So what is left is only 2y. Okay, and now this one is equated to minus 2xy. Okay, so next, what we're going to do is divide, no? Divide. So I'll just uh, shorten this one class. Divide. Divide. Divide both sides. So I'll just do like this. Divide both sides by. So what shall we divide both sides? So since we need to solve for dy over dx, so we have to Divide both sides by the coefficient of dy over dx. So in this case, we have x squared plus 2y as the coefficient. So divide both sides by x squared plus 2y. So what will happen to our left side? So our left side, I'll continue it here, class. So what will remain on the left side is only dy over dx. All right, and on our right side, so on our right side we have originally we have minus two x y. Okay, and you divide both sides by x squared plus two y. So therefore, this is divided by x squared plus two y. Okay, so this is our dy over dx. So any question class? Okay, so let us check our work. Huh? So we apply the power formula, I uh, sorry, the, the product formula uh, for the first term. Then you apply power of rule here, the constant rule here. Okay, so using this one, this is our u, this is our v. So u squared, oh sorry, x squared, so the derivative of the secant factor, the way over dx plus, we have uh, y, the secant factor times derivative of this one, so that is 2x times dx over dx. Then the secant term, derivative of y squared is 2y times the way over dx equal to 0. Okay, that's correct. Then rearranging this one. So this is just a uh, multiplication, so product. So rearranging. So we get this one. Okay. And then transpose this to other side so that we can segregate uh, terms that contains dy over dx and combine them. So common dy over dx. So this one. All right. So x squared 2y. Okay. So you, after that, divide both sides by x squared plus 2y. So this is the final result. Okay, so any question? Okay, now the next is what if you have this? If you are given this x squared times y plus y squared plus y cubed equal to 4, then what is our dy over dx? Okay, so this is your another uh, exercises or exercise. So practice solving this one class and then uh, in my next video, I will show you the solution. Okay, so thank you very much. Uh, have a nice day. Stay safe and healthy always. God bless. Bye.